How's it going everybody? This is Oasis back with another video on the channel. So we've recently started Ionic 4 series and Ionic uses Angular and Angular is built on the top of JavaScript. So if anyone of you interested in learning JavaScript, I would like to show you guys my course on Udemy, which is about 27 hour long and also it covers JavaScript in details. But the best part about this course is about 10 plus projects. You'll find a link of this course in the description below, including a coupon which will give you 50% off when you buy this course. So if you are interested in JavaScript, I would highly recommend, please give this course a shot and also let me know if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. So let's get started with Ionic. Welcome back everybody. This is the third video in the series of Ionic 4 app development. Now in this video, we are going to learn Ionic CLI. So first of all, we will add iOS platform to our project. So let me just uh, bring my CLI to the right so we can look at the commands that are right. So have a look at this folder structure right now. We have a source folder, resources folder, E2C folder, node modules folder. So now I'm going to type a command here, Ionic Cordova platform add iOS. I'm going to press enter. Now it's adding iOS to our project using Cordova Fetch or Cordova iOS version 4.5.0. All right, so as you guys can see, the platform is being added. So if I go to our project uh, viewer, we can see there's a platform that named iOS. So when I click on that, I can see the file structure that can be opened in Xcode. So if you are familiar with uh, Apple's Xcode, which is an IDE for iOS, Mac, iPad app development, uh, that project can be opened directly there. So now most of you will be familiar with Java, uh, Android uh, projects. So here we can add Android project as well. So I'm going to type Ionic Core. Let me just make this bigger if I'm able to. No, I'm not. So Ionic Cordova. I'll keep my mouse cursor here. Uh, platform add Android. Now it's going to go and download the Android Cordova version of 7.1.1. It's going to take a few minutes or a few seconds depending on your computer and your internet connection. Once it adds the Android uh, platform, then we'll go and talk about this. Okay, so the Android project is there as well. So here you can see we have an Android project and iOS project. Now, just to get you uh, familiar with CLI commands, you can remove project as well. So if I go Ionic Cordova platform remove Android, it will go and remove the platform from our project. So here you can see removing platform Android from config.xml file and a cordova.platform array in package.json file. So let's take a look at here in the platform folder. We don't see an Android folder anymore. So if I go and open package.json file here, we can see that we have a platform listed iOS, but we don't see Android. So let's go back to terminal and we can add iOS platform. Sorry, the platform is already there. It says platform iOS already exists. So we can add Android platform. So I'm going to click on any Cordova platform, add Android. Now it's going to go and download Cordova Android again and then it's going to it's going to uh, basically create a platform for us. Now these are the basic commands in Ionic CLI to remove and add a project. Once the Android project gets added to our project, we'll add another type of project called a browser. So we could run our application in the browser 
while developing and to test our application we can use actual device so i'm just waiting for this platform to add all right so right now you can see it's generating resources 18 resources generated now platform is added there we can see platform ios and android is listed in package.json file also we can take a look at config and in config we have a platform ios with a platform android now i'm gonna add let's go and clear the terminal i'm gonna add ionic kurtoa platform add browser so we're gonna add a browser platform to our project as well so we can do all the development test of our application in terms of functionality in our browser and then we can run this application to the actual uh, device whether it's ios or android device or even a windows device guys so once this uh, gets added the first thing we want to do is we want to emulate uh, this project so let me go and open the chrome browser first okay so the browser project has been added we can like a look at a platform folder and we can look at our package the json file which should have browser as a platform as well i'm going to take my terminal back to the bottom so we could look at the project and the files i'm going to clear the terminal and the next, what we want to do is we want to run our application onto a browser. So I'll say Ionic Cordova Emulate Browser. Okay, now it's going to go and build our project. And right now we can see www folder is empty. But when the first time we build our project, it will not be empty anymore it will have all the json and a production version of our code listen into www folder so the first time we're building this project that's why it's taking a bit longer all right so as you can see it took a few seconds or few minutes depending on your computer and now our application is up and running now this is how you emulate your application to your browser now the reason why i've shown you the first is because when you emulate your project to your browser using cordova it will put all your uh, native functionality to the browser as well but for just development purpose we don't have to emulate uh, our project to a browser but what we can do is i'm going to press ctrl c and let's clear the terminal and instead of using Ionic Cordova Amulet Browser, I'm going to use a simple command, which is Ionic Serve. Now, this is going to do the same thing. It's going to build our project. As you can see, this WW folder is not empty anymore. And now it clearly says our project is running on localhost called 8100. Also, the external IP that we can target 192.168.1.7 colon 8100 so it's going to build a project and it's going to show that into the browser now there are pros and cons using ionic cordova amulet browser but we will talk about these uh, later in the course now as you can see our project running now the last command i want to show you is ionic serve dash l now dash l is basically ionic a library you have to install in your project will which will basically make our application look like it's running on a mobile so right now it's asking me it's ionic lab is not installed you want to install it i'll type y and then i press enter now it's going to go and download ionic lab for me and start my server using ionic lab now the once our server starts as you can see here we have ios version and we have an android version of our application which is great so you can take a look at the ui of ios and also the android version 
So I don't really run this in development, but as just to let you guys know, this is available for you. So if you do Ionic serve dash L, it's gonna run your server on Ionic Lab, which will show your app as it's running on your native device. All right, so this is how you run your app on the browser. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can emulate your uh, app on iOS Simulator. And also, I'm going to give you an introduction to Ionic Dev app.